over the line in September was, I suppose, very special for everybody involved with the team and I suppose for, for some of the people that were supporting the team may be slightly unexpected in the last 20 months, but everybody's very, very happy that it's worked out the way it has. Last year against Dublin we didn't have enough maybe initiative to get up the field and, and, and courage to get up the field, but um, I suppose at the start of the year last year, 2011, it was a situation where we had to try and I suppose get a bit of traction through the league, through the championship and, and I suppose get Donegal winning a game and again and competing and uh, I think we achieved that and it took us so far and I'm just delighted this year that I suppose the weaknesses that was in the squad from last year, we were able to identify them, move the thing forward again this year and, and I suppose push on offensively, retain all the good work we had done defensively and try and move forward and thankfully that's the way it worked out and it resulted I suppose in, in, a, in a final one in September. Well I suppose there was in periods you know but I suppose the bottom line was in 2011 there was there was a situation where the Hebridge had to stop you know and um, you know a lot of our players had been on the back of a lot of very difficult Ulster final defeats and uh, maybe some heavy losses and it was, it was a situation where we just had to stop that we had to sort of take a grasp of that and try and get control of the situation on our terms and then move forward and that's what the plan was and thankfully it worked out and we got our Ulster title and then that gave us the impetus then to move forward to create some good results in Crow Park. <music> Being honest, a lot of people would have said when I took over, you know, that it was a poison chalice, that the players would let me down and that, you know, that they, they, they hadn't got the stomach to play inter-county football at the level that was required to be competitive and so on and so forth. But, you know, being honest with you, it's been the opposite, really. Um, everything we've asked of them, they've done it. They've been really role models for all the young people of Donegal. Uh, they've worked so hard on the training field and that has been, you know, borne out in the results that they've achieved. And from that point of view, you'd be very, very happy for them and very proud of them as well. And that's all you can ask for, really. You know, you work hard, you train hard, and hopefully you get the rewards out of it. And thankfully, in the last two years, they have got their league title, two Ulster Championships in All-Ireland. And it's as good a return as you could expect at inter-county level, to be honest. And we're, we're delighted for them on that level. And, uh, you know, obviously, there's a hard road ahead. But, you know, in terms of where we've come from and where we're at, we're very, very happy with what they've done. And they remain very level-headed. They still remain very level-headed. They're working very hard all the time. And, and um, as long as they can do that, I think we'll be okay. It was very easy to be honest with you, you know, every night we came to training everybody was very focused so there was no sort of red flags, you know, in terms of the boys losing their focus or, or losing track of where they were at or getting too far ahead of themselves. Every session we done was very focused, very composed, they were working hard, they weren't getting carried away or, 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 or losing distraction. So there wasn't an issue there really. It was something that was raised a lot through the media in terms of you know, the hype in the county and you know, the expectation in the county and so forth. But for us as a group, it wasn't an issue really. It was just a matter of doing what we had done for the last two years, looking at the opposition with respect and then looking at ourselves, how can we improve and then just moving forward in terms of that and um, trying to be the best that we can be on the given day and that's that's the way we've approached all the games since the very first one in Antrim and Balbafay last year and we just moved forward through uh, the 13 games with the same mindset and um, as I say in the first round of the championship next year it won't be any different, it'll be the exact same process and you won the game, you lose the game but the, the process will be the same. We knew that they were going to be very resilient, we knew that they weren't going to throw in the towel, we knew they were going to work hard throughout and we were ready for that onslaught and I suppose if we weren't ready for the onslaught it might have been something that could have caught us on the hop but we knew that they had, similar to ourselves in many respects, won two provincial titles on the bounce uh, changed their style of play to retain sort of traction. They had become far more competitive than maybe previous Mayo teams, and um, they were they were ready for what we were going to deliver, and we had to be ready in turn for what they were going to deliver. And I think because we were prepared for that and ready for that, whenever it came towards the last ten minutes of the final, uh, our lads were ready to kind of see the game out, which was very very important because, as I said, if it wasn't that way, you you know you could have been caught. 
Well, without being disrespectful, uh, I think it's, it's it's not about me, to be honest with you. There's a song, Jimmy's won the matches, but the reality is they don't, the Donegal players are one of the matches. And it's it's all about them. My job and Rory and, and, and Maxie and Pat and everybody else that works with the team, our job really is to try and facilitate them to be the best they can be. We've played the game ourselves and we've been around a few corners and what you're trying to do is you're trying to identify things that could happen in the future, coach, get the best out of them and, and, and hope that they can deliver on, the, on match day but it's all about the players and I couldn't stress that enough, it's totally about the players and our players have stepped up, they've, they've identified where they're at, they've tried to move forward, they've made choices in their life in terms of fitness and strength and conditioning, the way they approach their football, um, games, tactics, and all that there feeds into the overall package that you see on the pitch. So from that point of view, you'd be very, very proud of them. They've worked very hard to create that. You can't create that without hard work, and um, you can't win matches without your players working very, very hard. So from a manager point of view and from a coach point of view, you're just delighted you've got a, a group of players that are so motivated and driven that they want to do all them things and, and then that will transpire into results and we're very lucky in Donegal at the minute. We have a lot of very, uh, I suppose, humble, uh, down to earth fellas but also very driven and that's what you want in a player and uh, just hope that that can continue now after a bit of success because obviously managing success is a different thing to striving for success and you're just hoping that you can manage that now and that the, pl the players can remain, uh, I suppose, level-headed and disciplined and focused and just try to push forward with their careers. I, there's, there's speculation for everything, you know, but my heart isn't Donegal and my passion isn't Donegal and I suppose I've, I've worked in different areas before. Uh, I took the Donegal job and it's, it's something that I'm, I'm relatively used to and, um, you know, if something came up it would be a great challenge for me but obviously my heart isn't Donegal and, and my passion is for Donegal and, uh, and that's where I'm hoping to be in 2013. We won't be starting the year thinking about winning the All-Ireland, we'll be starting the year thinking about winning the first round of the Championship. And that's the way we've approached all our games so far, uh, since I've taken over. Uh, it's, very, it's very much, you know, based on the game ahead. The job that has to be done in that game, the opposition, getting the best out of ourselves and trying to put all that together in terms of a performance and then, you know, once you do the preparation, it's, it's over to the players and you're hoping that they can deliver that. And uh, that's the way it's going to be, you know, in, uh, in May or June, whenever that game comes up. And that won't change moving forward. And if we, if we won the Ulster Championship, we'll refocus on the All-Ireland. If we don't and we're knocked out, then we'll have to refocus on the qualifiers through to the All-Ireland. And that's, that's life and that's the way it is and that's the way we've approached everything and that won't change. Well, it's difficult to win the All-Ireland, full stop. We didn't win the All-Ireland for 20 years, so we're well aware of the situation and where we're at, you know. And um, it's not something that scares us, it's just something that has to be dealt with, you know. And all you can do is do your best. And as I say to our players all the time, if you do your best and there's nothing else to give, then you have to make peace with that. And uh, where I would have a problem would be that you, you might have 20, 30, 35% left in the tank, out on the field to play, and you don't deliver that. Um, you know, but if you if you go into a situation where you know you've prepared very well, you've focused on the task ahead, you've given it absolutely everything, and you come out on the wrong side of the result, you have to make peace with the fact that you've given it everything. And I think I think that's very very important. And, and whether you won or whether you lose, somebody's got to win, somebody's got to lose. That's the bottom line. And you, as long as you know that you've given it everything, you can make peace with that. And that's the way we've always approached things. I haven't even got a chance to look at the All Ireland final <laughs> since the All Ireland final. Would you believe that uh, it's been that busy? I suppose since that, but um, I'm looking forward to Christmas and I'm looking forward to putting the feet up and uh, and a couple of days off and um, and I suppose looking at back at all the games of the season, which I normally try to do at Christmas, try to watch all the games in the season and uh, for better or for worse, I suppose make make me notes and see see the I suppose the progress that we feel that we can move forward next year. I would personally feel that there's a, there's a lot of areas that we can move forward on. We've we've moved, I suppose, from defensive, very defensive in 2011, to a mixture of both 2012, and there, there's there's obviously other things that we would like 
to add into the mix in 2013. But as they say, nothing is neutral. You're going backwards, you're going forward. And you're just, you're just hoping that um, I suppose the players you're working with are still have the same you know, receptive vibe towards the training and what you're trying to do. And I think if you've got that, you'll be okay.